Hello and welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren in the Books. And how are we enjoying this super close up angle of myself? I thought because I haven't got to show you any books or anything, we'd go a bit in. It feels like you're really close. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you are really close, but it feels like you're really close. I've just had to move Minnie from this chair. She never even used to sit in this chair and now she's sitting in this chair all the time and I keep having to move her and she's going to hate her mummy. Um, today I am talking to you about my 2017... Oh God, I feel so comfy. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit warm. I've had the heating on for a little bit too long. Um, I'm going to be talking to you about my 2017 reading resolutions and my plans for this very channel. I can't have any of that yet, it's too hot. I've got a chai latte there, it's bloody delicious. Um, so we'll start with my reading resolution. So last year, my reading resolution was to read 110 books. I managed 129 and I didn't break a sweat at any point um, whilst filming that. So uh, whilst filming that, well, whilst reading those books, like, I didn't. It didn't cause me any drama. I didn't have to like, oh shit, I better read like really really short books now and things like that. I just got on with it and that was my natural reading. So I feel like now um, I could read at a push. I could read a bit more. Um, so I've gone for 150 books this year now. So if I if I consider that I read basically 130 books last year without pushing myself, 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 um, then I think I could definitely do that this year. So two things are happening where I'm going to make that happen. So I've um I've been in talks with my my place of work and um I've I've manoeuvred my week around um so that I now take an afternoon off a week, which is bloody lovely. And in that afternoon off, I am going to be filming, editing, answering comments, a bit uh, like an hour of reading, things like that. So already I factored in like an extra hour of reading a week for me. Um and also I'm doing something else. I've got my eye on Minnie because she oh no, she's alright, she's just going away. And also I'm um going to be I've 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 I got inspired to do this by um, one of the girls from the All The Books podcast. She said that last year she wanted to read a bit more, so what she started doing was waking up 15 minutes earlier um, and then having 10 minutes reading every morning, which I am aware it's only the 4th of January today. I've done every morning. I've done every morning so far, woken up 10 minutes earlier, even though like when I wake up to go to work now, I wake up super early and just sat in bed for 10 minutes reading, which has been lovely. Number one, because it's freezing in my house, so I get up, go to loo, turn the heating on, get back into bed, which is a treat, open a book, read that for 10 minutes, then get up and the house is a bit warmer. So that's been very nice. So there's, so there's gonna be like certain things I'm doing to amp up my reading so that I can get to 150 books this, um, get to 150 books. I haven't got any other um, reading resolutions as such. I don't, like last year I set myself quite a few with like, I'm gonna read this many classics, I'm gonna read uh, this book a month. I had a TBR jar, which I was pulling a book out every month. That failed after three months. I've What I've come to realize is that my, per like personally for me, those sort of things don't work. I just want a nice round number, 150 because I was always unhappy with 110 because 110 isn't a round number really to me so I wanted 100 so 150 books to read this year I've read one so far it's the fourth I'm about to finish two an audiobook and a graphic novel so I feel like I'm very much on track I'm sort of treating it as a book every other day with a bit of bit of movement there so yeah feeling quite positive about that so <clears throat> in terms of my channel um this extra afternoon off a week is allowing me to put up three videos a week instead of two videos a week. So last year, I used to put up a video on a Wednesday and a Sunday, and this year I'm planning to put up three videos on a Wednesday, on a Friday, and on a Sunday. So those will be my dates that I put video, uh, my days that I put up videos. If this needs to change because I feel like they're a bit too close together or, or something, then I may well change, but I will, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Um, so yeah, so very excited about putting up um, free videos a week. If you've got any videos that you would like me to do, it's, it's not just me sat here chatting. If you want me to do things, let me know. Write in the comments any videos you want me to do. Um, I'm going to be sticking with the same sort of TBR, um, TBR plans, wrap up, um, my favourites videos. I really enjoy doing my favourites videos. Um, they're going to be changing slightly. More on that later. Um, and what else will I be doing? Like book tags and things like that. But yeah, if you've got any videos, any like special videos you'd like me to do, anything like focusing on anything, um, I already think I might do a little video focusing on some cookbooks that I own. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me. 
um, and anything else. So yeah, if there's any other videos you want me to do, let's have a go on this. <clears throat> I've got this really tickly, annoying cough. It's so frustrating and pathetic, really. That's too hot. I can't be drinking that when it's too hot. So, something else. Let me just check my little special list that I'm writing here so I'm not missing anything out. So, more videos that I'm going to be doing. So, my, um, my series that I started last year, Book Chat With... Um, and then I've done, I will link the playlist of that down below, um, where I've done a, a, a chat about books with me and somebody I know in real life. I've done uh, my sister, my cousin, my boyfriend, David, you may know him, and my best friend. Um, that is going to continue. I've got um, my friend from university who's going to film a video with me. I'm still working on my oldest friend, Ryan. This is me laying the pressure on Ryan. Um, Ryan said no at the moment, but I'm going to lay the pressure on I'm gonna lay the pressure on um, and then once I've sort of done everybody that I would <clears throat> like to do who I do have a bookish relationship with I'm going to do another series called another book chat with and then start again because I really really loved filming with like my sister and my best friend and my cousin David I film with quite often anyway but like those people I really really enjoy doing it so I will be getting around to doing another book chat with those people and um, with a whole new set of questions so if you've got any quest uh, suggestions for the questions suggestions for the questions for those then do let me know and I might factor those in you'll be doing my job for me then I won't have to think of any questions to ask them so that's something else I'll be doing now also um, as I mentioned earlier my favorites videos will be changing so no longer in my favorites videos will I be mentioning um, my favorite tv program or my favorite film because I'm showing you that. I don't even know if that's in frame. This says here, I'm not going to get it down because it takes too long. Screen time with Lauren and David coming soon, January 2017. David and I are going to be filming a series. So um, every month at the end of the month, we're going to be filming a video where we talk about our favourite film. So a favourite film each, something that we've watched on telly each, a favourite DVD or uh, favourite Blu-ray or something we've watched on Netflix each and potentially maybe favourite YouTube videos each as well. So we're going to be doing all things to do with screens. Um, we're going to be talking about those at the end of the week, so uh, at the end of the month. So I won't need to en uh, mention in my favourite videos um, what my favourite TV and films were um, because they will be mentioned in screen time and I don't want to be like rehashing the same old shit, do I? Um, so that will be happening. David and I are both really, really excited about that. We did a diagram to come up with that name, screen time. Wrote a little thing, did some little things coming off, come up with screen time. Um, I wish I could tell you some of the other ones we'd thrown out. No, we didn't come up with anything else. No, we did. it's not in here. So yeah, so we're going to be doing that where we're talking about our favourite things that we've been watching that month. We also think we might do a few like special videos. So David's really into his films and knows a lot more than I do. Um, he's particularly into Disney films and 90s films. So we feel like we might do maybe a Disney special or a 90s film special or something like Christmas special near a Christmas and things like that um so yeah that's something that we're gonna be doing and we're both really looking forward to that so that'll be I think I've scheduled it for the last I've got my special schedule book here that's gonna be up the last Wednesday of every month so the last thing that I'm planning on doing is I mentioned in um a video my TBR actually my TBR actually um in that this year I'm um, planning on injecting my lifestyle with a lot more hygge so um, Huga, for those that don't know, is a Danish sort of lifestyle choice where you choose to live cosily and take good care of yourself. It's all sensible stuff, guys. Um, but I got a, I've got a book here <coughs> from the publisher, um, How to Huga, uh, The Secrets of Nordic Living by Signe Johansson. Um, and I've just been so totally inspired by this. And as I've been, I mean, I'm only 60 pages in. It's got loads of lovely recipes in the mi middle. Um, as I get... As I go through, I'm really pulling out things in here that I can apply to my life. None of them are like major steps, like all of them are like things that you should be doing anyway. And I figured that I'm going to, um, because I enjoyed doing the little bit of vlogging that we did in Vlogmas, um, I'm going to sort of, <clears throat> um, every month I'm going to do four of these things that I'm pulling out of this. There's not a list in here of things you need to do. This is basically like me making notes of things that, um, that they suggest you do here. So I'm going to be pulling out potentially like 52 things because I want to do one a, one a week um, and then filming a little bit of me doing that or me and my friends doing that for instance like one of the ones early on and um, who goes very much in keen on you to going into the wild um, and one of the things it says is get all bundled up even when it's cold get all bundled up nice and warm and go for a nice walk well on New Year's Day 
my family and I, my extended family as well, like my cousins and my um, my aunties and things like that, went for a nice beach walk um, with all the dogs, naughty dogs, and um, I filmed a bit of that. And I'm going to be talking through sort of things like that. So that will be like a little bit of vlogging. There might be a bit more vlogging. Um, vlogging's quite tough when you work full time and like of an evening you sort of come home and are like we're gonna sit here and eat our dinner and watch a film <laughs> because you might not want to see that um so there hopefully will be a bit more vlogging but the hygge lifestyle thing i'm really excited about and i'm looking forward to sort of influencing my life with a lot more hygge getting into sort of nordic cuisine and things like that um i feel very excited about all all things scandinavian i only wish the weather would stay this lovely the whole way through the year because when it gets to summer i'm gonna be fed up about I'm not going to be wanting to get cosy them am I but yeah so I'm going to be doing hygge things throughout the year David and I are starting a series I've got a returning series um any videos you guys would like to see and you'll be seeing me three times a week so hopefully I'll be able to keep that up I can't see any reason that I won't be able to um and yeah so that's it from me today let me know if what your uh, reading resolutions are how many books are you planning on reading in 2017 and did you make your 2016 goals and I will see you all again on <laughs> Sunday, because this is going up Friday. Yeah, this is the first Friday video. Everyone must be like, what on earth is going on? Um, and I'll see you on Sunday for another book two video. See you soon, guys. Bye!